Hi everyone, this is the walkthrough for the December 20th gas. It is called Extra Space Sudoku by Bill Murphy, and it's big, um, and it's going to take us a little while. This took me over 13 minutes testing it, and I doubt the walkthrough is going to be any faster than that. So this almost has normal Sudoku rules. It has normal Sudoku rules if you kind of squint at it, um, but the grid is bigger. And the way it gets around that is some of the cells are gray, and we don't have to place digits in those cells. So we only have nine white cells in each row, and in each column, and in each 4x4 four four box. So the regions in this grid are irregular, basically, and in some cases disconnected. So these nine cells have to have the digits from 1 to 9 exactly once each. And those are the rules. Um, we're going to start with 1s and 2s and 3s and 4s. And there's a lot of symmetry in this puzzle. I When I test solved this, I wasn't actually paying any attention to the symmetry, and I probably should have been. But hopefully that will help us in the walkthrough. So. Ones look into box one. The only place for one is this cell. Four is the same way in box 16. Don't normally have a box 16, but we do here. Two is also limited in box 16, so twos are eliminated from those eight cells. So this highlighted the wrong thing. These eight cells, two goes here, and three in box one. So three can't go in these, must go here. Now we can do a little bit more with all of these digits really. Um, so let's start with one. One in box two, because this region only has one cell in row one, that is the only place for one in that box. The three on the left side of the grid, three can't go in any of these cells. This is the only place for three. The two on the right side of the grid is the same way. Can't go in any of these. Must go here. And then the four at the bottom of the grid can only go here. Okay, now let's look at one again. We're going to look in this giant stack here. Um, these two ones are looking down into the bottom box. And additionally, we have a one looking over that cell. So this is the only place for one. Four is the same way looking up. Fours can't go in these cells. Four can't go here. So four must go here. That is going to limit one in this box as well. So one now can't go in any of these cells, and there's a one here. So this is one. One in this box can't go in any of these cells from these ones. So this is one. And now in this box, one can only go in this cell. And we're getting close to placing all of our ones. Um, so the one in this box here, box 16, only has one place. So now one can't go in any of these cells. And these two ones look over to place one here. And almost our last one is going to go here. Because in this case, we have six ones looking into the same box, um, which is always going to mean we only have one place for that digit. And then finally, in box 13, this is the only place for one. And now we're going to do all of that with four as well. So four and one are symmetric. So four, looking up here, now can't go in any of these cells. There's a four here. So this is four. Four looking across from here. Eliminates four from those cells. There's a four looking up. 
place for here. And you can see, even though I have done all of this on one and these are just symmetrically placed, just the fact that the grid is so large is making me uh, take longer and double check what I'm doing to make sure I'm not getting thrown off. Um, for now, at the top of the grid, So four doesn't go in any of these cells or here. So one of these is four. Should be able to limit it more. Let's look across here. So four is in one of these cells. Ah, and up here. This is where I needed to look. Four. Four. So that's four. That's four. And now looking across here, none of these are four. This isn't four from this four, so that's four. And we're missing a four up here. And we're missing... Oh, that's all the fours. We've got them. Okay, uh, let's look at three again. We should be able to do a little more with two and three. So three is going to be up here at the top, three in this band, it's not in any of those cells. We also have a three looking up here. So three goes here, and now the three in this box has to be in this row, and it's not here, so one of these is three. Um, looking into this box. Actually, we can look here. So this is three. And one of these has to be three at the bottom. There's a three there. And that's going to resolve our three there. Uh, this is no longer three. And in fact, none of these are three from this three. One of these is. So this is three. And we should be getting close on three. The threes here are looking up, and then this three is looking over. So that's three, that's three, and we need a three in this box, which has to go here, and that should be all of them. All right, two, start up here. Two is not in any of those cells, so it's here. Two in this box is going to be in one of these cells. So then the twos looking down, limit two to that cell. Two in this box can't go in these cells, so it goes here. That means in this box, two is in one of these cells. I have to do a little more over here first. Uh, two is in one of these two cells. Two is in exactly this cell. We had these twos and this two down here looking up. So that resolves this two. And our last two vertically needs to go here. Which is going to place two in those two cells. And hopefully that's all the twos. All right. So now we can look at our other digits. We've got all the low digits. Let's look at five. And I can see the five looking down here means one of these is five. This five is looking across and this is the only place in the box for five. We are gonna be able to do the same with six down here. This is six. Um, these are 7 and 9, and there's a 7 right here, so this is 9, 7. These are 8 and 9, and there's an 8 right here, so 9 and 8. These are 6, 7, 9, and there's a 7 in the box. These are 6, 9. These are 5, 8, 9, and there's an 8 in the box, so this is the 8. All right, in this box, we need 5 and 7. We've got a 5 looking down, so 7, 5. 
in this box we need six and eight. We've got a six here, eight and six. Here we need five and six. I don't think those are resolved yet. So these will be, these are also five and six. And also not resolved yet. Uh, these are five, seven, and eight. So that's actually going to resolve this. This is now six, five. These must be six, seven, and eight. And this is five, six. Now the five is going to look down and make that nine, five. I typed that in the wrong self, but that was five. The six is going to make this nine and six. Uh, this is not seven, and this is not six. These are five, six, and eight. We've got five, eight looking up. So six, eight, five, seven, six. But eight looking over here. We've got five, six, seven here with the six, seven looking down. So this is five, seven. Five here makes this eight, five, and this is six. Six now only has one place in this box. The five can't go in either of them. Oh, we already got the five. Never mind. Um, five can't go in these, and there's five looking up here. This is five. Still needs seven and nine in this column. Not resolved yet, but I will go ahead and mark it. These are seven, eight, and nine. Don't think that's the place to look yet. These are eight and nine. Um, I should be able to play something here. Got fives and a five there. We need a six in one of these cells from the row, and there's a six right here. These are now five and eight, and we know the order from this five. These are gonna be six and seven, and we know the order from the six over here. This is nine, this is nine. Had a little interruption there. Zoe had to show me a reindeer that she got. So where were we? We placed our nines in these. Um, we need an eight in this row. We need a seven in this row. We need, in this column, we need seven and nine. So this is nine, seven. Now we need eight and nine in these, and we have a nine there, so eight, nine. And in this column, we need eight, nine. We have an eight, so that's nine, eight. We have a nine here now, so this is seven, nine. Nine in this box has to go here. Nine goes there. These are both 7, 8 pair that are going to be resolved in this box. These are 6 and 8. We've got a 6 there, so 8, 6. These are 7 and 9, and there's a 9, so 7, 9, 7, 8. 8 there. 5 is the last digit in the box. This 9 looks down at this, and we need 5 in this box as well. And then over here we have six and seven with a six here. So seven, six, seven, eight, eight, nine. And that's the solution. That is a big puzzle. So if that took you a while, totally understandable. There's a lot to look at. Hopefully you noticed the symmetry and that helped guide your solve a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a very neat construction. This as much as I'm Give me Bill a hard time <laughs> with, with my screenshots. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.